you join us today on an arrival into Manchester Airport. Uh, we're currently routing towards Welling and at position Welling we're going to continue with the Dane 2 Alpha into Manchester anticipating the ILS for runway 23 right today. We are aware of several aircraft ahead of us um, that are holding. There are low visibility procedures in effect so we are anticipating holding later in the flight. But first, let's take a look at the flight management guidance computer and the lift do and see the route that's inserted in the box. With the navigation display, I'm going to select plan mode and constraint, and changing the scale to a suitable range for today. And just routing through, uh, just looking through the box, let's see what we have. Uh, currently uh, routing towards Welling, uh, just going overhead Welling, which is why that's changed from white to green. Uh, continuing with the Dane 2 Alpha. Uh, through a T slash D, that's top of descent point, towards Trent. Delta 312 Echo, which is five miles out of Trent. Uh, there's a further speed limit point there at 250 knots. The standard speed constraint below flight level 100, 250 knots is next. And then to point Dane, anticipating flight level 80 at Dane. Dane is the clearance limit for the arrival into Manchester. So I've uh, inserted a discontinuity and then beyond that we have, as we're anticipating radar vectors, the discontinuity and then the centre fix and final fix associated with the ILS for runway 23 right. Now we've just been advised by air traffic control to anticipate holding at Dane. So let's take a look at how we would insert that. I'm going to scroll through the flight plan page until Dane is visible and we need to insert a lateral revision at Dane. Now lateral revisions are inserted with the line select keys on the left. So I'm going to find the associated line select key which is next to Dane. And select. And now I have the lateral revision page from the position that I selected. So lateral revision from Dane. Several options are here but the option we're interested in today is the hold option. So if I select that and we can see the hold page with the hold at Dane. Uh, there's a few things that can happen. If there is a, a database hold within the FMGC database then uh, the database hold will be presented to us. Uh, today there isn't but we do have a computed option so let's just take a look at this. So I'm going to select computed and computed is essentially a suggestion by the FMGC. What it sees would be a sensible hold based on our approach into Dane. And it does look sensible 311 degrees, right turn. Um, however, looking at the charts for the Manchester arrival, I can see that the hold is actually 312 degrees. So on the inbound course, I'm going to select 312 degrees. The turn is given to the right, which is correct. That is the standard hold turn, and is the hold at day. And the final option we can change is the time or the distance for the hold. Now, a standard hold time is one minute, which is why we have 1.0 and the associated distance with that one minute hold. Um, if it was a longer hold, I could overwrite, or if the hold was based on a particular distance, then I could insert a distance instead. Um, should I change my mind and wish to go to the uh, reverted to the computed hold, there's an option for that also. But I'm happy with the hold that I've inserted, 312 degrees right turn at Dane for one minute is correct. I would agree that with the pilot monitoring. And once we're both in agreement, insert. So let's just take a look, scrolling back to Dane, uh, we can see at Dane a right hand hold and the option to immediate exit, so IMM exit is immediate exit. If at this point we're advised by ATC that holding is no longer in effect and we're not expecting to hold, I can select that now and the hold will be removed or once we have entered the hold I can use that to exit the hold at that point little bit of airmanship just to consider. Uh, we've inserted a hold at Dane, so let's consider appropriate radio navigation aids to back that up. So today I'm going to select Manchester, my Charlie Tango on VOR1 with a course of 312 degrees. Uh, for VOR2 I'm going to select Trent again with 312 degrees. We are within 250 miles of Manchester and an ILS is in the FMGC, uh, so the ILS frequency has automatically tuned and is correct. So 
So we're approaching day now, uh, about to enter the hold. Uh, as you can see, we're going to enter hold at Dane with a direct entry, which involves flying to Dane and then proceeding on the outbound leg. The speed is now reducing to uh, a sensible hold speed, uh, which is in this case maximum endurance speed, which is approximately green dot. As we overfly Dane, we programmed in a right hand turn, so as we can see, the aircraft will enter a right hand holding pattern at Dane. Prior to entering the hold, and within the hold, we will be considering our options. We'll be considering weather conditions at destination and destination alternate airports. We'll also be considering whether there will be any further delays should we decide to make a diversion. But the most important consideration is fuel on board and how much time we have in the hold before we make a decision. Now the FMGC can help us with this and that will be discussed in a more detailed video. Air traffic control may provide some guidance on how long we can anticipate being in the holding pattern. They may provide an expected approach time, an EAT, or they may advise a certain number of holding patterns before we can expect to continue the flight. As we pass overhead day, a good airmanship is just to start the clock running and we will time the hold, monitoring also the radio navigation aids as a backup. In order to exit the hold on the outbound leg, if we were to select immediate exit, the aircraft gives us the option to change our minds essentially and resume the hold or if we don't do that the aircraft will make an immediate right turn back to the hold and fix and then we will continue with the flight. If we need to continue the hold by selecting resume hold the aircraft will continue the turn towards the holding fix which in this instance is Dane and then draw and follow a further holding pattern. While flying on the outbound leg of the holding pattern, if we select immediate exit, the aircraft will make an immediate turn towards the holding fix and then continue with the remainder of the flight plan. Having selected immediate exit, next time over the holding fix, the aircraft will leave the hold and continue with the flight plan in the FMGC. Today we have intentionally left a flight plan discontinuity after the holding fix as uh, we are anticipating radar vectors by air traffic control. But should ATC give us a specific instruction to leave the hold on a particular vector, uh, we do have the option to pre-select that heading uh, within a certain time period. So let's just say as an example, air traffic control have told us to leave Dane heading 020 as we are approaching Dane, I can pre-select that heading of 020 degrees and once we overfly Dane, the aircraft will perform a lateral reversion from navigation mode into heading mode and make a turn onto that heading pre-selected.